Uh, to some other news now, A.F. Moritz has been selected as Toronto's new Poet Laureate. He's published 20 books of poetry, currently serves as a professor at the Arts and uh, Arts at, at U of T, Victoria College, and he joins us now live in studio. Mr. Moritz, thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Okay, so the city's Poet Laureate. I don't, is this a new thing? What, what, what exactly does a Poet Laureate do? Well, those are two questions. Yep. It's not totally a new thing. I am the uh, sixth one. They each uh, serve about three years. And um, what do they do? Well, we get a lot of invitations from people who are interested in poetry and um, sort of the spirit of poetry and all it brings to life, are interested in educational aspects of poetry, bringing it to various communities, bringing it to the schools and so on. Um, a, a beautiful poem written by the last uh, poet laureate, Anne Michaels, was recited at the uh, the ceremony for the van attack in North York. There's a spectacular right. example, but things like that are often done. Then the poet laureate himself or herself also often has an outreach project. So you might see around town various uh, quotations from Canadian poems let into the sidewalk or walls. That was the, um, various uh, little parquets and so on named after literary and artistic people. These are often initiatives of the Poet Laureate. I know you've just been selected, but have you got a sense of what you think your initiative might be? Well, it's going to be hard to know exactly how to implement it, but I'm very interested in outreach to the various languages around town. I'm very interested in making part of the website into a fairly giant uh, um, anthology in which we'd have at least a little um, sample of the poetry of many of the language groups. So let's say there's a Maltese poet, and mm -hmm. on there we'd have the poem in Maltese and in the uh, and in. Uh, English translation and so on with Urdu and uh, Chinese, uh, various Chinese languages and African languages and so forth. And then maybe make a little book about that. You'd have to select just a few, but something the city could give away to visitors and something like that. It sounds very fitting for a diverse city such as ours. Um, can I ask you, how did, how did you get chosen? I, I see you're very accomplished, but how did you get chosen? Did you expect it? Did you put your name forward? How, how does one get chosen to be the poet laureate? Well, it's a, it's a very great honor in, in the sense that uh, you're just picked out by um, a, a group of experts in the community working with experts in the culture section of the city government um, and just surveying who is prominent in the city. You don't know anything about it. The first time I knew about it was I got an email from a guy in the city saying, I want to talk to you about the Poet Laureate. Then I kind of knew what it must be, right? Okay, well, congratulations on this great honor. Uh, we expect to see that diverse collection of poems from you uh, at the end of your term, I suppose. So thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Moritz. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Wonderful to be on CP24, which I watch all the time. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, it is now 315.